All right. It has been a very long time since I played this. Other games took priority. And this was put on the back burner for a while, but it is back. As I want to give it a fair shot at uh, getting through it. Anyway. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this scattered playthrough. So, you know, today it's probably going to be about um, getting used to things again, but also just probably grinding. As uh, I think to progress, I'm going to have to grind. Um... Let's see. Equipment, maybe? I think I remember having almost everything sanguine related. Oh, no, I do. Okay. Chunky resolve expensive. But apparently I can upgrade. Uh, Ammonite helmet. Alright. I mean, just spend the gold for now. Alright, so you know, this run's gonna be all about getting gold, I think. Plus, getting reaccustomed to the controls. As, uh, the rest is real. So I'm not gonna be too interested in progression at the moment. Like, this is straight up gonna be just... Money! And experience, I guess, for this class, because the chef is a good class. So we'll see what I can get out of it. Now, admittedly, it might not be the most exciting of things, but, I mean, if I'll still have a crack at the end of at progression. It's just more in the lead-up to progression. I'm going to go around and get as much money as I can. Remember the part that I'm up to is, uh, oof, it's tricky. I was having problems with it, but we'll see. Losing no their health. There's a timing thing. Okay. Got it. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna look at up and defense stat, I think is the most important stat I'm gonna need to get. Whoops.
I mean, armor is probably another way to achieve it, but for now, I'm gonna go the stats route. We're doing this. In the name of money. Not afraid of this. Ah, not back. It's all right. I'll heal myself after this. many rounds <laughs> all right restore health increase take damage yeah that's what I'll do and I'll just heal myself like this wait I'm not healing HP why not it's probably a trend of this character what is it More health, but you can't heal ever. Just... Um, I guess just uncover stuff. Extended burn. Alright, let's just see what this is. Jumping in the air enables flat, but you take more damage. Oh, oh no. I mean, okay, this is cool. But, like, yeah, it's fine. I mean, the intent of this was just to earn money. What the fuck? Eggplant? Easter English breakfast. What? <laughs> what? I can't talk to him. I'm just, like... hell is this? I'm so confused right now. He doesn't die. I think this is just an easter egg. Fireworks. Well, there's a thumbnail if I've ever seen on. Weird. A simple start. Your empathetic connection has been improved. Max handicap for this scar challenge has been raised. Okay. Well, neat. I don't know why I would ever trade. Like, 75% extra damage is brutal. I mean, the, f the flight, the flight is nice, I will admit. But this is like, in terms of usability in the area that I'm up to, no way.
Damn, if I had the ability to heal, this would have potentially been worth attempting the boss that I'm up to. I just had to have this annoying trait. Yeah, I, I can't actually ever heal. So this is just a room of death. <laughs> just, even that thing doesn't heal me. I'm only off the money. I don't think I'm gonna progress. Given the current circumstances. gonna get as much money as I can. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's annoying. Lose no health. Okay, well. I guess this becomes a little easier since I can fly. Oh my god. Alright, but. How do I stop flying? There we go. Man, this would have been fine if I could have healed somehow. Fixes to get. As long as this buys me an upgrade, I'll I'll be happy.
I left a chest behind, so I'm going for it now that I can fly. Although, what is... I'm disappointed. I thought that would be something. I think 75% is just too much of a, a cost. the mystery ones. Hmm. Okay. Until <laughs> Wait a minute. Collect one food to purify this relic and gain 125 health. Well, hang on. So all I have to do is just collect food and it's purified. Alright, I'm game. Wait, does eating count? I don't think it counts. It doesn't. All I have to do is just get lucky with RNG. Thought maybe that might be a secret. Okay. <laughs> this is the only time I'll get to do this. One piece of food, that's all I need. Wait, did oh, it worked. That's it. Got it. Purified. Damn it. Ugh, why did I have to have this thing that doesn't let me heal?
Oh shit. Not good. It's alright. As long as I end up with a lot of money, this is worth it. Is something or oh, ah, jeez, it's shielding itself. What is oh. This would have been a good run if it wasn't for the stupid passive. But if I remember correctly, like, that was the lesser of the evils. Because each one kind of had a bad one, anyway. Alright, well. Did as much as I could. Upgrades can I buy? The seed is a choice, the fruit is a punishment. Okay, um... Antique. I get a raven's ring as a starting item. 10% less HP, but all chests are revealed. Defeat enemies while at max HP to get more mana. Associative Agnosia. Oh, that's a that's a horrible character. Only crits deal damage, so I have to do like the perfect shot. Uh. Yes, that character. Ugh. Okay. Um. Let me just see what way I can do the most good here. I think equipment load's probably the best thing I can do right now. I don't think there's anything else I can get with this. Enemies are blacked out. Okay. Ice room, dash room. Need to increase white a little bit. Increases magic crit. Okay, I mean, I think I got all the useful ones. Alright. I don't know what else I can spend this gold on. gonna get all that gold. Okay, again, focus is gonna be on getting gold. Because the problem I was having was just I was taking too much damage from from the boss that I'm up to, so I need to alleviate that a little. Okay. 
Kasse. Just like enemies are a blind spot. I don't know. Uh, this doesn't seem so bad. I haven't really played with this class much. Hey, got me. What's up? It's all right. I'm just here to get gold. Uh, take this one. I didn't see it. Okay. Alright, this thing does have its downside. They can really blend in if I'm not careful. Try to, yeah. Ah, oh, come on. It's alright, in this area I'm not gonna take much damage. Be spikes or something down here. I can see where the difficulty in this lies. It depends on the room. It's worse in some rooms than others. doesn't deflect. Okay. Well. Good. If I'm feeling confident, I'll go try the boss, but right now I'm, I'm grinding. <laughs> Enemies have a chance of dropping health. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's try it. Okay. My max health did reduce, but that's okay. Like, this character's sort of tanky. It's possible, I mean, it depends how it stacks, but... If it makes the chance 33% of dropping food, then I can survive pretty well.
Hmm. Of course, we'll see how it averages out to, but that was three enemies and one of them dropped. Like, if I can get something that synergizes with picking up food... Okay, no, this is legit. <laughs> it's happening really frequently. Okay, I'll be able to get a lot of money from this run. Ooh, this is bad. I can barely see them. It looks like health drops are disabled here. Nice. Oh, that was that was satisfying. Okay, um increase health, reduce. Uh every unique relic increases your damage by four percent. Take damage from hazards. Gain fifty resolve for per tethered rope. I don't think I want either of these. Like, this is just going to reduce my health for not much gain. Okay. Sure. Ah! No! <laughs> Damn it. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I got it still. Nice. I could have just jumped on it, but I decided to kick jump. Okay, so I've already healed up. Oh no, this is, this is really good. This is like the opposite of the previous run where I couldn't heal at all. I'm gonna get as much money as I can. I'm doing the whole map. I'm not kidding. Lose my health. Just a little bit toasty. Okay. First part of the castle, so I don't have to stress too much.
All right. Deal damage, take more damage. No, thank you. Um, kill yourself, but get 35% more gold. That could be an interesting one. If I was to go and get as much gold as I can. And then come back and just take it. I mean, if I got 10,000 gold, let's say. It's quite a bit. We'll see. I'll keep it in mind. Because the goal of this run is not to succeed necessarily, but to just get upgrades where possible. Oh shit. Wait, what? How do I get across the... Ah, uh, okay. I see. It's like one of these ones that goes around in a circle. <laughs> nice room! Oh yeah, right, this, this thing. This is a problem. I forgot how these things- oh yeah, you have to turn them off like that. That was in an obnoxious spot. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be fine. This passive is going to carry me. I got that. I heard something break. What? How do I get in there? I want, ugh, I want that chest. Damn it. <laughs> Castlevania instincts is just like hit the wall, 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 hit the wall. Have you tried hitting the wall? Hey, hit the wall. 
didn't work. This passive is amazing. If I was a chef, instead of this class, it would be even better. What is this? Guitar. It requires kinetic energy. Spin kick objects to gain kinetic energy. Gaining kinetic energy also... I don't know what that means. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to brick this. I've never heard of kinetic energy. So I think it's safe to assume I don't have it. So I have sometimes got an alternate weapons that just completely end the run then and there. It's just like... It just ruins whatever I have going in terms of a playstyle. So I'm, I'm good. If this wasn't going that well, sure, experimentation is great. But I have a setup for greatness here. I don't think I've ever been in a position where I don't have to worry that much about health. Wait, so what area is this? This is four, right? This is five. No, we're not doing five. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, just had to check something real quick. Oh no, yeah, no, that's not, that's not in an annoying spot at all. I can't even get to that one. I mean, again, objective is money. And I guess to a lesser extent, experience. It does make the class better. Six thousand gold. I don't know, dying and gaining another thirty percent gold does seem tempting. I guess what I could do is attempt to get to where I need to go. And if the health situation is looking horrible before I get to the boss, then I go do it. If I have no real reason to think I'm going to beat the boss, then yeah, I got nothing to lose.
Very nice. You know, considering <laughs> I can't see what I'm trying to kill. Removes all visual ailments. No, thank you. Critical damage from spells and weapons increased by 20%. All right. No downside. I'm reducing my health a little, but that's fine. I increased my health multiple times. Very good position. This is probably the best I've done with this character. Or class, I should say. No jumping. How does one do this? I don't understand how you do this. Oh, hang on. Oh my god. That did- oh, damn it. I almost had it. <laughs> I messed up the last one. Okay, that's how that's done. Some of those challenges are very tricky. But I was like, okay, maybe this might work, and it did. I just, I, I messed up the last one. Oh shit. What is wrong with me? Why don't they take damage? <laughs> Standing in the spears, clearly. game.
good stuff. Oh crap, too early. Uh, yeah, again, just... My health is back to where it was. Deal more damage, take more damage. The heavy stone, bargain. Uh, that sounds like extreme double-edged sword. I'm not gonna take it. Like a heavy bargain, hmm. Just way too ominous sounding for my liking. I'd rather just take the hit, get more health, and then heal my way back up. What? Huh? Oh shit. Okay. That was a um, complete fluke accident. This is just lore, isn't it? Why did I leave my weapon by the door? Affinity bonus. I just got bonus damage for, for a boss. That was quite unexpected. Okay, well, you know, moving on. Now I expect to take more damage. I have 8,000 gold. I am very happy with this run. Now I just have to be careful here because this area is no joke. the zombies. There's up. Bastion creates a wave that destroys projectiles. Ooh, my health. Okay, no more. That cut my health quite a bit. Suppose it could be worse. <laughs> it heals me for 81 HP. It's pretty much all my health. Hey, as long as I can survive and get gold, it's fine.
Oh, I missed that one. It's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, get more, get more relics. Yeah, as if my health wasn't low enough. What is this one anyway? Your weapon applies burn. That would be good for a chef. Um, okay, increase max health by nine. I kind of have to. Healing does no point to it. I think I'm definitely gonna take the uh, the option to die now. Given my health pool, there's no way I can beat the boss with that. But that's okay. Great run. How do I get out of this? Okay, there we go. This served its purpose. I think I'm fine. Like, I'm not interested in fighting. Shame I couldn't get something that scaled off. Okay. <laughs> Slightly but surely, health is being health is being increased. Wait, what? Is, oh, right. Yeah, you, I can keep going that way. Ten thousand gold. Insane amount of money. It's alright, that's a full heal. Barely survive that. Ah, oh, ice. Oh well. Ten thousand gold. A valiant effort. good. Said Joey, contrarian. Weapon and talent is randomized. That's fine. I'll take that for the extra gold. I got Mjolnir. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Doesn't seem like a downside. Uh, the weapon is random, so we'll see how that goes. Um...
Your white class will now change over 21%. Hmm. Gold gain for certain traits. Okay. I mean, I feel like just weight and capacity is the way to go. Alright, that was good. Big upgrades. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, a ra it's a ranged character. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, this is cool. Let's see if I have enough to get the gold one up again. Yes, I can apply gold now. Alright, I'm gonna have another gold run. Again, if I'm feeling confident with the boss, I'll go give it a crack, but... I've never played this class before. It's like a weird archer, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. It would be cool if you could just swing it normally as well, but I get it. I have to get used to this. Oof. Oh no, the aim, the aim with this is, is really difficult. What's for- oh. There we go. That's fun, but like, I think in the heat of battle, this character's gonna be very hard to play. Oh, wait a minute, I have Chef ability? I guess that's the random ability that I, I gained. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... I think I should be using the D-pad for this, because it's easier. It's easier to shoot in a straight line. D-pad is restricted to 45 degree angles. Oh yeah, no, this is much better. Already. Analog stick is too much flexibility. Yeah, I mean, that's the last world, I guess. We'll get there eventually. Oh, really? Okay. It is fun. I just question how easy it's going to be to fight bosses with this character.
Oh, I just noticed the bonus gold is 38% as well. So if I can do well with this, then... Looking at all more upgrades than before. What a weird mix. Hammer, Chef, and Mage. This is, this is like a boomerang build. Channel the inner Australian. Why haven't... Why hasn't this stopped chasing me? Defeat six enemies to prevent the next source of damage. Mm. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna keep resolve high. I'm gonna get things unless... It has to be really good. Like, not too defensive. <laughs> this is a pretty fun weapon, not gonna lie. have become good with the boomerang mechanics. That works really well. Okay, health increase. Thank you. That's spell. I think we're good. Two thousand gold, practically. I think it does more damage on the way back. Like it's a crit on the way back.
Um, that's a good one. Taking it. This one was excellent last time. And with the passive I have. Well, not the passive, the magic ability. I can I can cook. Soup. <laughs> this is what I had going in Yakuza. I mean, like a dragonition. The soup build. The mightiest of fighting tactics. True warriors respect the soup break. No dashing. Oh, I see. Well, this is just... Lose no health as well. Oh my god. Damn it! <laughs> Some of these challenges... I bricked it at the end. Okay, uh, where are we going? That way. Down and to the right. I almost had it. It'd be cool if you could kick jump off the hammer, that'd be neat. Like a little bit of extra utility to this. Oh damn, but skip most of it. Worth it. Still worth it. Still worth it. Stone. Ivy Seed. Uh, 34 Resolve. It's going to lower my health. So hang on, what is this called? Lamex Woodstone. Let's see what it does.
taunt. Hmm, can't find it. <laughs> I'll just leave it. I think... Right now, the interest is more in getting money than finding out stuff. He wants his Mjolnir back. Well, he's gonna have to wait. I'm sure the next Marvel movie he's gonna be involved in is still a while away. <laughs> he can wait. It's like, what? Like, I was gonna say, he's like, he's way later in phase or whatever it is. Hey, Kara. Jeez. Didn't realize there were going to be more fall movies. Of course there will be. Punching? No thanks. Kidding? It's like part of... The whole cinematic universe. I'm I'm fatigued on like superhero movies. I haven't watched any of the latest ones really. It's like I think what did it was when someone pointed out that the movies or I guess not just Marvel movies but new movies in general it's like they have this writing style where you know you could have a very serious scene or something and then someone has to make like funny quip before the scene ends and it's just something that's become very common in movies as of late and it's just fatigue of that has kicked in I mean if you enjoy the movies still don't let me <laughs> Stop that, but it was one of those things that once I heard it, I just couldn't unnotice it. I was like, yeah, you know what? They do, they do that a lot. The trend is annoying, yeah. What they need to do is just stop making movies for like five years so then people miss it and then come back with a big bang. Disney can't do that. I forget that it's Disney that owns them. But you're right. It's like... It's part of the formula. It's safe to make movies, more or less. Make the movies. People will watch it. Even if it's not a successful superhero movie, it'll probably make more than taking a risk on something that's an original idea. And that's kind of the sad reality of movies at the moment. I think Oppenheim is probably one of the first movies in a while that I've been like, okay, well, that's that's something different. I haven't seen it yet. I do want to see it, but I'm going to wait until it hits streaming services. I've heard mostly good things.
Disney covers half the market. Oh, you're not wrong. Like, the amount of media companies they own, it's something like if you get blacklisted by Disney, it's effectively 60% or some approaching 60%, if not higher. I can't remember the number, but it's definitely over half of like the entertainment companies are owned by them. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. I thought thing will die on its own now. Okay, that's one positive thing about the hammer. Well, so it's hard to aim sometimes if you just put it on the ground. The ground effect is awesome. Or on the wall. It's Friday, how's my day? Busy, but uh, I'm glad it the end of the day. I went and bought potato chips. I got five bags. The highlight of my day was getting potato chips. So you know. Just living at large. Why'd I do that? No fancy chairs. No, I got some cheese. I got snacks. It was a good day to go buy stuff for snacks because it seemed like stuff was on special. But you know, my favorite potato chips being $3, a price that I haven't seen in almost a year. That's where I'm at currently. I'm <laughs> getting excited over potato chips. It's, it's just insane how much they cost now. Look, cheese that I got. Uh, nothing fancy, just like brie and brie. I think I like those two. Just what's readily available in a supermarket. Nothing like I had to go out of my way to get it. Anyway, this is a game that, um, thanks to Zelda, I, I kind of stopped playing. So I'm coming back to it to try and get it finished. It's, it's like, I think, two-thirds of the way done. Something along those lines. Have I tried Jura Deli Chocolate yet? I have not. Have I ever played Shantae? Uh, no, but I know what it is. It's like one of those Game Boy Advance games that were like underappreciated for their time and kind of got a cult following after the fact. There are even, um, they're reviving a one of the cancelled games and making it. And they're gonna sell it as a Game Boy Advance cartridge as well. There's been a resurgence on people making games for older consoles. Like, you'd be surprised how many people just to uh, test their skills. They're just making games on older hardware, so. There's like a bunch of Super Nintendo games, NES games, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games that are being developed. Because, yeah, people, I guess, appreciate the limitations and want to make a good game. That was horrible. Okay, increasing health, but healing. 
cost zero resolve. Karen's trial. Spin kicks now apply armor break. I'm taking this. What's a good one? It does reduce my health, but the damage I can get just by spin kicking an enemy. And if I want to attempt the boss, then it's a good one to get. I'm not sure if I'll do it, but for now. Oh, that felt satisfying. <laughs> Just it going in a straight line and take taking that out. Anyway, we'll play this for a bit, and then I got some other game we're gonna check out. That's uh, it's been a while since I've done something weird, so we're gonna do something weird. I'm not gonna say what it is. I need a good laugh today, so I'm gonna get a good laugh today. I mean, every now and, every now and then, something comes upon my radar. And I'm like, okay. The... Even though I'll probably only play this one at once, I gotta check it out. What system is it for? It's a PC game. It's just a random PC game. You'll see. What am I doing? Hammer! Hammer! We'll get to it after this. Nah, we're good. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I think I'm just gonna increase my health from now on. This area is an area I've cleared, but I'm just farming it so then I get money so then I can upgrade the characters and get stronger before I go fight the boss that I'm supposed to fight, because I was struggling. Every little bit counts. I'll get it. It's alright, I'll heal that up. I mean, that's just an artifact. I'm not gonna grab it. the hang of this more like it's it's a boomerang and as an Australian I should be able to wield such a weapon with these
I joke about it, but I, you know, one thing we did, we went to, I forget where it was, but they taught us to use boomerangs. So, I did learn as a kid how to use one. I'm not sure I remember and how practical I'd be at it these days, but I did learn. You don't just throw it? No. There's, there's a technique to it, otherwise it doesn't arc correctly. And they have like some sh shape to it for aerodynamics. There's more to it than you would think. I'm almost 10,000 gold. It's gonna go a long way for upgrades. What's the history of it? I don't know. It was used by the natives. The history is just unknown and debated. It goes back a long, a long time. I'm not sure about the intricacies of it. probably read a Wikipedia article on what historians think, but I don't think there's like some true answer to it. What is it? Uh, it's two of them, so it would screw me up too much. I don't have enough resolve. <laughs> Aboriginal people used it to a little prey. Boomerang was thrown above a flock of birds to simulate a hawk. Huh. Well, there you go. I'm sure that's something I probably learnt as a kid, but just the information didn't retain. Because it was, like, some museum as well, so... It's probably something that I did learn about. I don't remember. Retaining everything that school teaches you. I mean, it was in elementary school, so, you know. I just remember the part where I got to throw one. Not so much the part of the origin story of it. Yeah, the fun part, pretty much. Alright, 
increase health again and heal, heal, heal. The boomerang's origins the same as its end. Oh man, that's like... That is top tier dad joke. It's like if you throw it and it doesn't come back to you, it's just a stick. This is the one downside of this weapon, is just when it comes to enemies like this, I have to be accurate, or just... This is gonna happen. But otherwise, this, this is fun. I think I definitely achieved my goal here. I think I found this already, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm probably gonna have I'm probably gonna have to try at the boss. This build's not bad. Oh jeez. Ah. Uh. Such an awkward angle to fight on. Okay, this is still within reason. Twelve thousand gold, I feel good about this. Guess that's it, huh? Uh. Okay, there's there's like an area down there. Yeah, it's like down left. Okay, got it. Probably won't see any progress today, to be honest. This is just me getting reaccustomed to this because I haven't played it in the. It's it's four months. It's as long as I didn't play Animal Crossing. It's been four months. It's just... While there's nothing new, I figured get through that backlog of unfinished stuff. All the lowest priority for a while, yeah. I guess from this point now, it's not a whole lot of point. So we go. Hang on. 
Is it the sun tower? Can't remember. I think it was here. Still watching me play Ocarina of Time. I on I honestly don't remember how that went. It's just such a long time ago it feels. Oh yeah, right, this thing. I forgot about this. I didn't I didn't really like this mechanic. Yep, this is where I'm supposed to be. The damage is high. Wow, that's obnoxious. Oh, come on. Am I gonna bring back the Pick a Game Redeem? Uh, no. For a couple of reasons. I kind of feel bad if I say no. And also, sometimes I have to buy said game and there's already enough stuff I have to play. And there were a couple of times where it was like... You know, someone would suggest the game, and then it was like... For whatever reason. It's not a bad thing necessarily, but... Sometimes not many people would be into it, aside from the person that suggested it, so... I think the way I'm doing it now is like, you can suggest it, and I base it off... How many people ask for that game. Or my own personal interest in it, if that makes sense. So, like, if I'm really personally interested in the game, it doesn't matter how, who asks for it. Like, one person could ask for it. I'll try it. But if it's, like, something that... It's, like, only one person mentions it, and then... That's about it. It's, like, I'll, I'll keep it in mind, and then just try to remember, like, the next time it comes up. It's like, oh, yeah, someone asked about that in the past. I should probably play it. So if you want me to play certain things, it's be vocal about it. And get other people excited about it as well. That's why I'm probably going to play New Horizons, because multiple people are like, oh, no, you should play it. Definitely play it. So I know there's buy-in. I mean, not like pressured buy-in, but I know, okay, there are people interested in me playing it. So, th those are my reasons. There was something I, I tried for a while, and it had mixed results. Of these things, or are these things just always on the screen to chase me down? Oh no, okay, I can. Yeah, this is where this weapon kind of falls a bit short. The things that chase you in the air like that.
also the redeem was very expensive <laughs> as well. So it's like, ah, eh, that's fine. Not a whole lot of people would have redeemed it anyway. Oh man, this area. It's just this gauntlet. Nope. Not touching that one. I feel like I have to lure them to a wall. What is this? And here's the problem with this area, <laughs> it's just... I was taking too much damage, so that's why I wanted to get money. I need to make myself tankier. If I have any hope of clearing this area. Hmm, I don't, I don't want to waste. Oh, I found armor. Nice. But see, I think I beat this boss though. If I remember correctly. No? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't beaten this. No, this is what I was up to. Okay, this was horrible. Yep, exactly. This, this boss was like, what am I supposed to do here? It doesn't give me time to heal. Like, it's... It's a war of attrition. I think this class is not suited for this. Honestly, I've gotten further than what I did before. But I'm not gonna survive. Man. I need to make myself tankier. I don't think that class is built for that fight. Or the hammer, at least. It's just too awkward. But that's not the important thing I wanted from this run. The important thing was money, which I got 16,000. So that's gonna go a long way. I feel like Lancer would be good in there. But I might pick this just in the, again, in the interest of gain, gaining money. I don't think I want to progress today. Today is just like a refresher and getting money. Um, weight capacity, attack, armor, hang on, health.
Yeah. That seems like a no-brainer. Three points of armor. Alright. I'll do one more run and then we'll get to the other thing I want to do tonight. played much mage, so we'll see how this goes. Again, sorry if this is, like, a little repetitive, but next time I'll have serious attempts at clearing that boss. I mean, ultimately, this attempt will end in me trying the boss, but it's gonna be, like, however much time I spend grinding, getting money. Hit me? Oh, projectile. When it comes to RPG games, I don't know why, but the mage-based classes are kind of the class that I play the least. I think it's because I... I'm not sure what it is. It can't be because they have low health, because I like playing like rogue or archers, and they have low health. But I guess because they have survivability tactics to evade stuff, and I like evading. Whereas in this, I guess if you don't have, like, a magic shield, and maybe because you have to watch your mana more than other classes, that might be it. Time limit 15. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good, I failed. All right. <laughs> So that one's pretty much, you're gonna know it eventually, it would appear. Yeah. I have a bad success rate with those things. Your weapon applies two stacks of poison. Interesting. Okay, really low health, I get it, but like, I can increase my health, so as long as I don't lower it much. Okay, no. See, that's that's a lot of poison. All right, don't get any more. Poison can be very legit in this. Oh, 
sure, why not? Okay, that's probably why not, because... What on earth was that? Okay, that worked. Uh, increase health. There we go. No, wait. Just seeing what it is. Yeah, I mean... I, I can't afford to take more because it's just going to reduce my health by too much. Pretty good. But yeah, that boss, uh just seemed very problematic. I just could not survive enough against it. Money. Uh, okay, head down, down, right. doing so much damage is I, I don't think I've raised intelligence as a stat on my upgrades because I just don't play mages. So this thing isn't doing as, as much as it should be. Puzzle challenge? sure what this is. I don't think I have the patience right now. <laughs> I'm more interested in money. Forget about it. I don't like puzzles where it's like, oh, unless you know a very specific mechanic, you won't solve it. It's like what people do in Mario Maker. This isn't an intended mechanic for Mario, but we're going to make a thing we call a puzzle around it. And if you want to know how to do this level, you're going to have to read three paragraphs of text. So then they under you understand what the designer was going for. I'm curious, what is this? Defeat 15 enemies, gain 20%. Whoa, okay. Without getting hit. Okay, this is bad.
Anything is fatal. Doesn't have to be an enemy hit. Okay, we have... Oh, I wish I would have gotten this sooner. The problem is I think I'm up to the next area now. to go. Oh, that's, that can't be good. No. Oh. Ah. No, dropping. Okay, got it. Just be patient. Accuracy. Go for easy kills. These these knives are gonna kill me. Okay, out. Five more. Four more. Oh, oh. The projectile was off screen, but it still had something just in the corner. Damn it, I should have waited like another second. That was annoying. I didn't get much out of it. Alright, um... I mean, 28... I'll do one more. 28% gold. I don't know what this is. Well, let's see. Uh... Not enough gold to upgrade it. 3,200, 2,600, unlocks astromancers, spell crits, I mean, my spell casters are lacking, so I guess. Alright, just get that. Oh no. <laughs> Nostalgic all timely effect. It's like watching an old TV. Or film, I guess. Grainy film effect. I just need a filter on my microphone to give me, like, the, uh, the radio announcer voice. Yeah, what did the obelisk do? Your crit skills have an extra chance of becoming super crits. Interesting. Let's see what that means. Again. Alright, I'm curious. Well, what happens if I stack this? I don't think this is a class that crits much. But we'll see.
I think... I don't mind the visual effect, it's the audio effect. It makes me feel like my headphones are busted. Oh, I already... No, but... I haven't pulled the lever. No jumping, including going to get the chest. I learned that the hard way. Pull the lever, Kronk. I love that movie. It's been years since I last saw it, though. I think my favorite bit in it is, um... The, a the angel... <laughs> on Kronk's shoulder. Oh, man. Remove visual ailments. That's an expensive cost to remove it. I'll be fine. It's not it's not too bad. It's okay. Just interested in money for this. Nope. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Hello, Devil R. Ah? Devil at? Ah? Devil at? Ah? Sorry. <laughs> I butchered the name a little. I was looking at my screen. How's it going? Had a long day, so my reading and comprehension is like uh, almost non existent at the moment. Gotcha. And it's getting late, is it? Yeah, it's like not 10 o'clock yet, it's fine. But you're right. Generally speaking, my indicator of like when it's getting late is like the more the more Americans there are in chat. <laughs> That's when I know. Hmm, I sh I should go to bed because they're up and about now, and it means it's probably like two, three in the morning for me now. Ten is late for you. That's bedtime. Jeez. I guess yeah. I've always been a night owl. Like even. Ten is like a minimum for me, unless I'm just that tired. You should be sleeping, but you're making food instead. Well, yeah, what are you making? Just fries. Oh, that's a good choice. What kind of fries, though? It's like... Condiments to go with it. Are they thick? Are they thin? Are they curly? If they're curly, I'm jealous, because we don't really get that much here in Australia. 
for some reason. I don't know why. But. I, I think there's only one place you can buy curly fries, and that's at this supermarket chain called Aldi, which is German. But don't have readily available curly fries, not even at fast food places. Tanner's layer, but likely not the same. Yeah, I mean, I think we're talking about 10 p.m. here, but for me, I start unwinding around midnight. That's just how I'm wired. Wait, what? Am I that tired that I'm not reading this map? Correctly. <laughs> what? Hold on. Jeez. Normally go to bed around 8 or 10 a.m. Oh, we've got a few people that are, are night workers. Uh, one of my regulars and moderators uh, used to do a security gig, and he would be here pretty much just, yeah, on his shift. And then he'd go to bed at like 10 in the morning. That's just what he had to do. Crap, it's okay. I don't have to stress much out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I've never really looked into the reason why we don't have them. But, uh, I mean, Australia's equivalent of Burger King used to have them as a, a thing they would do once a year, but they haven't done that in a very long time. It's like 152 a devil is. So that's like uh, Central Europe, right? Or well, it's European time. I know that much. <laughs> like a, I forget what time zone that covers. It's like I know the Scandinavian countries are covered by that one. think twice about military time. I'm not sure why. Despite, like, we don't really use it here in Australia that much. It's not the default. Okay. Uh, do I want to teleport back? Mm, no, I'll walk it. It's fine. You're Norwegian, are absolutely correct. Oh, cool. Yeah, got another regular here who's uh, Norwegian as well. Yeah, got a, f a few people from, uh, from Scandinavia. A 
I've gotten better with time zones. Opposite, it's opposite, it's opposite, it's opposite. I'm not gonna get it. Ah. <laughs> Almost. If I had a few more seconds, I probably would have gotten it. I think what did me at the start was the wall. I didn't realize I needed to blast it. I keep thinking this is like Castlevania where you can just hit it with your weapon and then you're done, but it has to be a special. Okay. Do you play uh, much of this game, Devil? I've just started playing this. Again, after taking a long break from it, because the new Zelda game distracted me. So the last time I played this was four months ago. <laughs> so I'm just getting money to upgrade my stuff because the last boss I was fighting. Uh, yeah. Let's just say it didn't go well. This is probably doing okay, I think, for now. Yeah, I only watch people play it. That's fair enough, honestly. I have a few games like that as well. What games do you usually play? Hang on. Uh, there's a chest. Uh, okay, good night. <laughs> there we go. Get it. Got it. gonna fill with landmines. Landmines? Are they landmines? They're like spike balls. Honestly surprised I haven't <laughs> taken a hit. Oh, no, there it is. <sighs> Damn. Alright, uh, increase health. I jinxed myself. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Uh, probably not a good idea to get this one. As much as I feel tempted to do that. I don't trust myself. <laughs> I don't trust myself. 
Watch me take a hit. And then this decision. Yep. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh, damn it. Come on. The problem is this area has so many traps. It's not that I think enemies are going to kill me. It's that I know I'm going to die to a trap. That's why. The, en the enemies are not the problem. Yeah! <laughs> right, that would have been death, so good. Right choice was made. It's gonna feel so weird when I stop playing this because the audio filter's on it right now and then the sound's gonna go back to normal. I've kind of gotten used to it. I'm happy with this though. This is. If I can get about 10 grand out of this run, I'll be happy. still have a go at the boss. I did get some armor upgrades, so maybe that might be enough to allow me to survive. Oh boy. I thought I was being clever. You know what? That works still. It still hits something. Nice. Alright. Increase health. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This could be good. It's just a no, nah, but I wouldn't get in the way of the boss. Uh, I'm, I just don't want to brick it. <laughs> if I didn't have so much money right now, I, I probably would have just gone with it just to see what it was, but. I'd rather secure the money. 
then risk have it be something like, oh, positive effect, but takes 70% more damage. Which seems to be like a common thing in this game. Usually the stuff there. Any plans for the weekend? Uh, not this weekend, though. I was going to hang out with a friend later today, but I'm not sure if that's still happening. We'll see. just do housework and then keep watching One Piece. Oh, I, I'm gonna convert YouTube thumbnails over to the new style because they seem to be doing better. It seems like the new style does better. At least on the initial tests that I did with it. So now I gotta make more thumbnails in that style. And I'm just... I want consistency. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, this is, this is so not worth it. What am I doing? There we go. Gee, ah! This Saturday has a shot the whole month. The ham. Potential beach day ones there. But nice. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to when um, we kind of get the sweet spot in terms of Australian weather, which is like August and September. It's warm, but not to the point where like it's uncomfortable and would make uh, anyone that's not used to the climate melt. And it stops being so miserable and rainy. I'm not gonna go to the beach. So, I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with this, but it's just keep in mind, you, you know, you do what you're acclimated to at the end of the day. Okay, I, I, <laughs> right. So, to some, you know, beach weather is a certain temperature. To me, the temperature for beach weather is like in summer when it gets a lot hotter. 
It just feels like it's too cold to go to the beach when it's spring. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But this would be... I'm talking about the temperatures where, like, you know... If you don't have a hot summer, you'd be complaining about it. Let me convert it. But more or less... Like, the Scandinavian viewers would be melting at this temperature. But I'm like, yeah, perfect beach weather. Americans would be like 50-50. Some would be like, yeah, it's cool. That's, that's fine. Others would not be able to handle it. So it just depends what you're acclimated to. So it's like 30 Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit. That's like... That's beach weather to me. You're like 86 to 90. Well, there you go. So that's that's nice to me. Some people think that's way too hot. And that's fine. <laughs> you acclimated what you're acclimated to, right? But that's, that's the minimum for me, you know? It has to be that as a minimum. And it just doesn't hit those temperatures very often in spring here. I think honestly most, like, nor the period. <laughs> European viewers, I think, are the ones that, like, don't like that temperature. It's rare for it to get to that temperature. That's hot. You were melting yesterday in 24 Celsius. Yeah. I, I have this conversation many a time with the Europeans. <laughs> it's like, I'm not allowed to make fun of, uh, summer. And they're not allowed to make fun of when I'm complaining about the cold in winter. I, I, I didn't sleep in the snow as a baby, okay? Like, I'm not acclimated. Okay, I'm exaggerating. Sleep outside when it's cold. That's what, that's what actually happens. Taking naps outside. What's the hardest it gets in Europe? It, it depends where you are. But I mean, it can get as hot as it gets in Australia over there. It's not like it's unheard of, it's just not common. Like, those would be record-breaking temperatures. And it would be a problem because... Unlike here, air conditioning is considered more of a luxury than being mandatory. I oh, live in the north of the Arctic Circle, so you're even worse to hate. Oh boy, yeah, I can imagine. But I mean, you can survive in the cold. One day I'll go experience a real winter. I'll either complain about it or just um, get hospitalized by slipping on ice, because apparently that's something that is a rite of passage if you're going to experience cold weather. I should consume soup, huh? This is probably going to turn into a boss attempt. I have good health. No, I mean, like, Arctic, Arctic Circle, that's like the co as cold as you can get before you can actually go to the ice caps. It's still...
But it must be nice. And you get to see all of those fancy lights. We have something similar, but it's not as, as fancy. Like, we have Aurora Australis. But it's, uh... It's its own thing. Now, for me, spring is, is, is the season, because it's just like... It is the comfortable temperature, you know? Again, comfortable for me, probably too hot for some Europeans. <laughs> you know, uh, ranging between 20 to 24 Celsius, that's my, that's my comfort zone, it's just like, that's nice. It's not cold, it's warm, but not unbearably hot. That's what I like. I can wear whatever I want, you know? People drink pumpkin, pumpkin spice. That's something that, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I was confused by hearing about it, but someone explained what it is. It's like, it's not that it's, it's got anything to do with pumpkins. It's more just like things associated with the season or some something along those lines. I don't know. But I stand by this. It's like, if you enjoy it, that's fine. enjoy it even if it to some it would be considered basic don't we have starbucks <laughs> have i told you about what happened to starbucks yeah we do but this is the extent we have starbucks so starbucks tried to open about can't remember how many stores they did nationwide, but it was a lot. It was a, in the hundreds. And um, Australians just don't like that kind of coffee. It's the, we just see it as... It's just flavoured sugar syrup, basically. That's trying to mask out what coffee actually tastes like. And not just that, it's, it's a cultural thing, particularly in Melbourne and Sydney. You go to a small coffee shop. You kind of know the owners, and you go have a coffee with someone, right? That's how you catch up with people. So that whole, like, very corporate sugar syrup coffee, it just doesn't fly here. So Starbucks in Australia went bust pretty much immediately. And um, they, had, they sold the brand, the branding rights. So now Starbucks, I think they have... Only a few stores in in the major capital cities, and they're just there in tourist hotspots where they know that maybe Americans might be around, and they're like the familiar face when you're traveling. Um, granted, I have been seeing them a little more lately, but definitely not what it used to be when they first opened up, like... Look at it this way, people would rather go to McDonald's and get a coffee, because it's actually not bad there. They actually grind beans at McDonald's, because they have to, otherwise they can't compete with uh, local coffee shops. Like, no one will just go there. You can get a pretty decent coffee at 7-Eleven as well. In the fall, would I try a pumpkin spot? I don't- I'm not sure they even sell it, that's the thing. I've never- I've never heard of it. Because I- th I think they adjust to the Australian market, and it's just not a thing here. It's kind of like Halloween, right? It's just not... It's not a thing, really. Um... It's too late now, because fall is... is next year. <laughs> like, the next season is spring. 
but I guess if I remember, I, I'll, I'll like try to keep it in my subconscious, and I'm sure, knowing me, it'll probably be something that I remember instead of useful information. It'll just be, yep, I will, I will remember this and try it. If I go to the tourist place, they wouldn't have it. I don't, I don't know. That's the thing, like... I... <sighs> okay. It's like Taco Bell. What intrigues me about Taco Bell is the Baja Blast drink. The food at Taco Bell does not interest me in the slightest. Because I know I can get better food. But if I want good Mexican or, like, Mexican-adjacent food, I can A, make it myself, or B, go home, and, you know, my parents... My parents would... would be like, no, no, we'll make you this, don't go there. Like, why are you spending money on th on cardboard with fake meat? That- that's- that's their description of, like, Taco Bell. Um... So it's kind of the same with Starbucks, it's like, I wouldn't go there when I could go to one of the coffee places I frequent and just have something that I'd enjoy more, you know? I, I like coffee for coffee. I'm not putting, like, uh, flavoured syrups in it to try and change the flavour of it. It's not something I do. But yeah, they don't have Baja Blast at Taco Bell in Australia, so they, they have basically zero incentive to go try it out. It's just... When it's full. Whenever it's spring for you, that's when it's full for me. If this was a conversation we were having three months ago, I, I probably could have gone tomorrow on a mission. Like I did with, uh... The Five Guy Burgers, you know? I mean, the, I guess the concept of Five Spice, at the very least, it intrigues me. Coffee at Starbucks doesn't interest me in the slightest. But, the, the, if they have Pumpkin Spice, okay. Like, I'll, I'll fall on that grenade. That's something that's just like, okay, I have to see what what the Americans are talking about when it comes to this. Uh, I guess let's try now, huh? I have good health. I just need to make it to the top. You would check in October too. I mean, I can just check the menu. I'd do it now, but I can't alt tab out of this without it pausing. But the, uh, the, I know that when it comes to the menu, Starbucks Australia has, like, a lot more food than its American counterpart. Because they have to have food options that compete with, uh, with local coffee shops. It's not out yet. Oh, now I get what you mean. I suppose, yeah, Halloween, you're saying. Like a... class. It's fun. Just the tennis mechanic and just the fact that it has heals. But admittedly in this fight, the heals are not really going to come in handy. This boss does not give you a window to heal that easily. 
That's 16,000 money. Very happy. A place that sometimes I get breakfast at, they've started doing PB&J, but, but like, toasted PB&J, which I don't think that's the way you're supposed to have it, right? Like, it's supposed to not be cooked. Am I, am I wrong? I don't know, like, <laughs> that's not a thing, yeah. I would have tried it, but then I'm like, wait, it's not supposed to be toasted. Not toasted, okay. Then yeah, it, it probably wouldn't be a good experience, huh? It wouldn't be authentic. Well, when it comes to foods from other countries, I'm willing to try. There's just certain ones that I, I won't try. like the that I forget what country it's from but like it's called balut it's a, a delicacy considered a delicacy and it's something that uh yeah no I'm not gonna try it's basically they it's like a partially developed chicken they eat or chicken I don't know like a bird it's yeah it's kind of not I think it's kind of gnarly but you know I think it's just one of those things that came as a necessity at some point I'm sure it was like you know food is food don't waste it and probably still might be a necessity in some parts but I just think to just try it and I'm good. You pass, yeah. <laughs> There's also that coffee where like, uh, it's the world's most expensive coffee because they, the way they get it is they feed coffee, I forget the word animal, but more or less the animal poops out the coffee and then they harvest the coffee. So, no, I'm good on that. Another one I don't want to roll the dice on is Durian. It's one of those... So, Durian, it's like... It can go one of two ways. It's either you find it to be a nice-tasting thing, or the thing smells like rotting flesh and it makes you feel sick. It's, it's just one of those things that... It's either A or B. Oh, crap. So I, I don't want to flip the coin on that one. Isn't it a fruit? It is a fruit, yeah. But it's it's just what it's just one of those things. It's kind of like um, what is it? It's like cilantro. To some tastes like soap because of uh, genetics. It's the same thing. So, yeah, stuff, stuff like that is, I'm sure it has its place and its purpose, but it, it doesn't interest me to try it. Oh, where did that come from? 
<laughs> this is not good. I'm probably not going to make it. I don't have any heals. Oh, that's annoying. That... There's no other way up. Shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm still weak. Just unfortunate, the map. Don't like cilantro. Yeah. It's like 50-50. <laughs> no. Oh, I wanted to find out what that was. Alright. That's for the next character that I'll play next time. Um, okay. Increasing starting resolve amount. I mean, more resolve can allow me to do things. White capacity. Increases XP gain. I'm just thinking where I should dump this. I mean, health is probably useful, but it's... I feel like I should just keep going with armor. Um... We'll do an int. Alright, that'll do. I have not focused on mages at all. Alright. Well, that was going to be the last run. But this was fun. I'll make more solid attempts at fighting this boss next time. I'll probably do more of this tomorrow. Just to keep the effort going. And don't let this fall back into... Oh, I'm just not going to play it for four months. Alright, uh, I need a small break. A small intermission. I just... First of all, I need to set up for the next thing, but also I'm going to get myself a beverage. So if you're here for Rogue Legacy 2, thank you so much for tuning in. Or if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. And uh, consider clicking buttons for the algorithm if you want to support the channel here. Or maybe there's two other videos that have popped up on your screen if you want to watch me play something else. I don't know. All right. Till next time.